So welcome back all of you. And then uh, we are into the next session on this uh, purchasing accounting. So we have completed the six methods of approval and then one of them didn't work. It didn't work for many, many instances. And if you succeed on uh, doing the position hierarchy approvals, please let me know so that we'll also learn from you about how you are done it. Actually. Well, now go ahead and then do it. Now, keep on share screen. <clears throat> So we are into this now. So let me go there and then let us not uh, do this one. E tag the one on which you're working on. Go to this place. <clears throat> Click on confirm and then log out. We will not log in. And T3 is for EMP one of the one which I'm logging in. We again go to the P2P process. In the P2P process, we are seeing what? The charge account to cash is the ultimate one as far as procurement is concerned. The financial accounting is not bothered about your spending on cement or sand or jelly or whatever it is. Fine. They are not bothered. So they have to only account. Whereas the procurement managers, they also they're also known as the category managers. The category managers will now see different different category wise how much is the expense paid, and then uh, they would like to optimize it in the coming years actually. So that uh, uh, the purpose of uh, the procurement module is what reduction of spend. Spend reduction is ultimately, and so that can be very well achieved because of this purchasing accounting monitoring. So they would like to monitor the charge account. Right? Charge account monitoring is a very important one. So there are different ways of doing the charge account. There are six many ways are there. If you go there and then have a look at it now, there are six many ways are there. In this place. There are six many ways are there in this place. So we are going to see the first six ways about how you can charge. Now, what is an asset item? I will now go on and create an item first of all as an asset item. Right? Asset item will be contributing towards the production. So let us say I am now manufacturing monitor. And then I have picture tube and motherboard. Fine. So they will be contributing to the cost of monitor actually. So they are all called asset items. Whereas I am going to put, say, let's say some 20 screws on the monitor. Every screw is costing you 10 paisa. So the 20 screws will now cost you 22 rupees. So they won't account it for the calculation of the cost of monitor. So let's say that is 700, this is 500, then this is 2 rupees. So it comes to what? 1,202. The two rupees is a very insignificant amount because the purpose of uh, what happens uh, rolling up all the cost to the top, that is the finished good, is to what? Arrive at the selling price. So once when you know how much of money you have spent for manufacturing it, then we can even apply a 20% margin and then announce your sales price. 20% is approximate. Right? The company will now say, I would like to have a, what's called a profit of around 20% now. Right? So that 20% is all approximate. So when you apply it, the two rupees is not a very significant thing at all. So because of which, what happens is they will not consider it. So the screw will be considered as an expense item. But you have to go and buy in the market. Financial accounting will not consider the 10 paisa, whereas your cost accounting will not consider the 10 paisa at all. So for a cost accounting perspective, it is called an expense item. So the expense items will not be contributing towards the cost of the finished good action. So I'm not going to get two items. What is the product management? Let me get two items. <clears throat> what is the product management? And then let me get an asset item first of all, and then an expense item also. So go on and create an item, asset item, and then an expense item. An asset item will now contribute to the cost of the finished good actually. So that will be rolled up and then it will be done. We'll be having a bill that is called a manufacturing bill. In a manufacturing bill, it will be having multiple components and then all the components price will be rolled up to the top. So click on it and go there. We will now create an item as an asset item. So click on it and then go there and then create an asset item. Asset item. <clears throat> so an expense item, uh, even though it has got a market price, we have to go and then buy in the market with some money, but that will not be contributing towards the, what's called the cost of the finished good actual. They are all called expense items. And click on create item. So we are now going to create yeah, asset item. <clears throat> And then let us now put my organization over here now. Right? T030 is my R. So go there. T030 is my master. Of. I'm putting it over there. So 
choose it. The template should be coming. And then my template will be seeded over here now. Right? We are already given as a T03 purchased item template. So that will be coming over here now. And if you want to click on OK now, and accept it. And then move it. And then let us now create an other item. And then we already have two sub inventories. One is an asset sub inventory, and then one is an expense sub inventory. So in total, we have got six different types of transactions. What I will do is I will not transact an asset into an asset sub inventory, in which you will now see the charge account is going to be one thousand nine, and then asset into an expense sub inventory, the charge account will be one thousand. So I'll be having a different different charge account for this now. So why will be coming? Three zero three. I'm just going asset item. Take a copy of it. And then put the description. Go down. And then you'll not go there. You'll we'll not simply associate it. I will not go to the associations and then let me associate it to my child or directly. Whereas an expense item, I'm going to make a modification on the attributes. So one of the attribute is responsible for making the item as an expense item. So which I'm going to do it. Once when I create the expense item only. So I'll not go to the associations and then let me create what? The expense item. First of all, you're not going to associate this item to the child or and then afterwards, we will now create the expense item. <clears throat> so go to the associations. Go to the actions and then go to select NAT. So we are going to select NAT. And then let me select my ARC, my child ARC. Now I have got only one child ARC for this exercise actually. You don't worry about the class which is coming on. Okay? The root item class is coming up different differently because people are, it is not a root item class, it is a, some other class. It doesn't matter for us. We don't have any much of a significance as far as inventory is concerned. This has got a significance only for the PIM module. So once you learn PIM, they will not teach you everything on this. So let me go there and then associate with this place. Click on site, click on open, then click on that. Seven years. So T03 asset item is now created. We'll now go there and then we'll now create an expense item. We'll now copy it. So I'll now go there and then create an expense item. An expense item will have a purchase price, but it will not have any cost price basically. <clears throat> because it is not contributing in a direct way to the manufacturing process. So by that way, that will become an expense item. So go there, I'll now say T03, and then zero is my master. <clears throat> the instance has become slow, so I can't help it now. In the morning, it is working excellently. <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes instances become slow, so we can't help it. ETAN was always working fast, <clears throat> but sometimes it is also becoming slow. <clears throat> So I'm now going to create an expense item for this. An expense item will be created. Go there. <clears throat> and then click on OK on this one. And then I will not populate that. This thing. I will not. Right click and then duplicate also. Try to have multiple pages on so that you will not try to see what, which one works with this I know the end, and then I will not. Is it So everything is complete. Okay. T zero three. So 
I think I have given a okay also to the problem because it's still rolling around. So click on okay on this one. So the template is now applied. So we are now going to get an expense item on this one. And also. Now multiple screens getting created actually. So the item is a T03 and the expense item. Take a copy of it and then put on the what's called the description. And now go to the specifications and I'm going to modify the specification for making it as an expense. So if you go to the specifications, you'll be having some seven tab regions now. So previously in eBase, we have 16 tab regions and then that has been reduced to seven in Fusion and everything is accommodated in the seven itself. They, they don't want to have multiple uh, ways of uh, uh, grouping them actually. The attributes are getting grouped. So they feel that this is more than sufficient now. <clears throat> Go there. So we are in the process of giving a specification. So now here I will now go there and then I will now go to the manage mapping set. This is one I will now go to the manage mapping set. Click on it. And then we are going to specify as per the plan map and click on the setup and render and then we'll now go and build the manage map. In the manufacturing, you go there. And then if you make the inventory asset values no, it becomes an expense item. If the inventory asset values no, then it becomes an expense item. It's now become an expense item. I will now go there, go to the associations, and then let me associate to the child. Now it is an expense item because inventory asset values. If this is yes, there is an asset item actually that will be contributing to that finished good. So I'll now go there to connect. This place is still coming. This also I'll now go there to connect. I'll now go to the setup and maintenance because the instance is slow. So I would like to have multiple things enabled over here. Click on it. I will now what. I'm going to pick the associations and I'm going to associate the child dog actually. So it's still coming. Also, what I'm going to do is like go to this place and then I go to the setup and maintenance. So we are going to set up different, different accounts for different, different requirements. So it has to be associated and all the click on associations. And then after having changed the inventory as a value, you know, I'm not going to associate it. So here you go there. Here also, happens, uh, will be given this. It's not coming. So all the things are working slow now, and we can't help it actually. Okay. Wait here. So I have to associate. It is very unfortunate. I mean, the evenings it doesn't work at all. I mean, at least mornings it is working perfectly. How about starting the program at eight thirty in the morning? <laughs> we can complete many topics in the morning. And every every instance becomes slow in the evening. So it's still coming, but it never happened on the ETAT actually. ETAT was working excellently. It's a hard luck for you. <clears throat> so an expense item is going to create. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to associate the plan like this. Like this. So asset and asset. Amount. So I will now see material account sub inventory. I'm going to choose it and then I will now put the value as 1009 for this one. Right? For the uh, marriage mapping set, I'm going to put it like this. <clears throat> coming up. Hmm. Okay, this topic is now getting derailed actually. <laughs> I will not see whether any other instance is passed or not. Let me check it out. Instances. DTU was a really good actually, and it was a real good speed actually. And now the instance itself is down actually. So that works on. <clears throat> Go there and then paste it on this place with an ADU. <clears throat> ah, it's working. Fantastic. ADU is working. Thank you for signing. 
the ETU also, uh, we had this, uh, we have created everything on this now, fine, get excellent, yeah, fine, so this is working now. ETU is working, and then my login is also working. T03 AP1 is working, very well working. I will do one thing, I will now drop off this now, because it's now very, very slow, fine, we are not able to do it now. So let us now go there and then do on this place now. We'll go this place. ETU is working now, fine, if your instances, if you have already created a structure, you can also start to work on it. It is really, very fast. So I keep on. We will not go on and create our stuff. We will not do this. <clears throat> I will not, first of all, go there and then add all the accounts, whatever is required. Is manage percentage, star percentage, value percentage, set percentage. Value percentage and then set percentage. Start value set to one. We go there. Go to the manage chart of accounts, value sets now. And then let us know. Go this fine. Our ETU has come back now. Let us know query for the account now, fine. Account T03 is a one. I'll go on and put it on this account. Sorry. It is account. The account and then T03. That is the one which is a query now. Fine. Account first one. Now coming back to the account. We will now add the manage now. So let us now go there and then do the values. Again, fine. Again, we are doing it from the beginning now. Fine. So let us now go for the thousand as a set now. Fine. We will now add the account. Now click on search now. It will be having all the accounts over here now. And then we are going to add the accounts, whatever is required for this exercise. Now. <coughs> ETU is working now. So go to actions and then go to what? Create. So many of you might have created the instance, your structure on the EDO. So that is going to work now, fine, because my structure is working means what everybody's going to be working also. So they are not flushed it. Only thing is they have put it down for some time for maintenance actually. And thousand, thousand, and then I will not make it as an asset. I will not go to the actions and then uh, go to the actions and then create for next one. So next one is what? 1001 is a liability. I'm not going to get the next account. 1001 is a liability. So we'll know, do as per the plan on this now. We have a ETAD as well as this also. Two instances are available. 1001, 1001. I will not make it as a liability. Liability means what? We have to pay something to the supplier actually. The liability account. So 1003 is an expense and then 1004 is a one is equity. So go there. 1002 is an expense. I will go there and then make it as expense. And go there. Click on plus one. Then I will make 1003 as one as equity. Go there. 1003. One as equity. One as equity. And then we have got what? From 1004 onwards, fine. Up to 1008 is an expense. Fine. 1004 up to 1008 is an expense. Anyway. So click on plus and then not do it. So go there. It's 1004. 1004. This is an expense. And make it as an expense. Then go there, click on plus one. Five, six, seven, eight also are expense. One thousand five, go there. One thousand five, and then there's an expense. Click on it. Now make it as an expense. And then at this stage, you make a save now. Right? So whenever you're doing it, major one, fine, make a save on this one. So give a save. So it's not saved now. Right? So click on plus one. One thousand six, seven, eight, and three accounts you have to do it now. Right? One thousand six, and then good app. One thousand six, and then good app. And then you know, make it as what expense. Now. And then click on plus one. Right? One thousand seven and one thousand eight will be expense. 1007, 1007. It will also be an expense. Not fine. Make it an expense. And then click on plus. Not fine. 1008. We are going to go for. 1008, 1008, and go that. It is also an expense. So we are now going to give a save at this stage, and then go for that. Sir, it was budgeted. Huh? 1008. It was a budgetary data. Oh God! I'm sorry. <laughs> Please correct me whenever I'm making a mistake. Of yeah. So go there, click on plus one. Nine, uh, nine and ten are asset actually. Nine and ten are asset. And click on plus one. I'm going to make nine and ten as asset. Thanks for correcting me. Fine. Whenever I make a mistake, please correct me. So that what happens? Uh, my demo will be going out without any disturbance actually. 1009. 1009. So it's an asset. I'll make it as an asset. Click on plus one. And then 1010 is also an asset. So, click on passage 1010 as an asset. And then afterwards, what happens? 11 is also an asset. Click on passage 1011. And then that will be also an asset. And then finally, 12 is an IL. Click on passage. And now, the 12th one is an IL. And then make it as a liability. And that's it. Fine. Go there. Click on save and close by which it will all complete. 
So we are completing everything. Save and close and then come back and then again make a check whether it's all there or not. Thank you, Madam. And then have a look at it. Thank you for search now. So it is now starting on 1000 fine. Asset liability expense one is equity and then expense everything is coming up to 1008 beyond which asset asset is in the liability. Remember. So it's all there. So we now complete everything and then we now go on and create our item. We now go on and create our item. So go to the home icon and then we now create. Now on this one, right click and then duplicate, right click and then duplicate. Find what you want. Now, have multiple ones so that we can now do the things fast. I am now going at a high speed. And then if you have any doubts, stop me then and there and ask me. And then I will understand that you're having a problem or understanding. So catch me if you can. Oh God, I made a mistake. Right click and then duplicate now. I will not duplicate it. So we must see that that's come back. I will now have one more right click and then duplicate also. Because since it's working fast, so we can even do multiple things simultaneously. So we got everything now. So this is not the one. So from here onwards, we have the ETEO. So let us now go on and create our item. So let us now see whether the supplementaries are created like this properly or not. And I will take off it. Remember exactly how to put it now. I will tell you why I want the thing exactly as per this now. You go to the setup and maintenance. And then we will now have a look at it about whether you have created a supplementary or not. I am not very sure about it. And go there, click on it. And then you go to the what's called search and then you go to the manage supplementaries and look at it. Right? Man percentage sub percentage lookup percentage and then enter now and go inside and then have a look at it now. Right? Come on, come on. Change the organization to T031 now. <clears throat> Sorry. Change so uh, we don't have any supplementary at all. Thank you, Dr. Sophie. I have to change the organization. Sorry. I'm going to change the organization to what? T031. T031. So here we already have the supplementary. Asset supplementary is already created. Let us now create the expense supplementary also. Thank you, Dr. Sophie. Get the expense supplementary. Go to the place now. And then copy those one. Exactly copy. And then do not have any extra spaces at all. Remember. So I will now paste it over here. And then paste it over here. The expense supplementary will not put the T03 over here and then give a tap. The location will be coming automatically because it's already tight. So this is not coming exactly. I don't know why it's so. Fine. There is a problem or something like that. Fine. The, the only one location has to come. Fine. Remove the asset, it becomes an expense supplementary. The example I will tell you what exactly is an expense supplementary. Let us say I am buying kerosene and then it is going to be used in the furnace for burning a raw material. Like so the money spent on furnace is going to be an asset. Fine. The kerosene is an asset item. And then the main store is an asset item. From that, we move it to a shop floor submittery. And then from that, we are now pumping it to the furnace section. So everything will now contribute to the cost. Fine. The cost of main submittery will be coming down. And then the, your shop floor submittery will now go up. And then finally, it will now go into WIP. WIP is a work in process area where we are now charging the kerosene for manufacturing it. But by the side of the furnace, you are having a small maintenance submittery. And then there, you are going to use the kerosene for lubrication as well as cleaning. Cleaning and lubrication. So that sub inventory is an expense sub inventory. So whatever you issue that issue over there, that will not contribute to the production at all or the, or the FG at all. So kerosene given into the shop floor sub inventory, which is very near to this, which are going to be pumped in is an asset. And then whereas for the maintenance sub inventory, whenever you issue it, it becomes an expense. An expense is not costed, whereas asset is costed. So likewise, you'll be having multiple sub inventories which are not going to be tracked fine, for costing purposes. And that will be an expense of it. I remove it and then save and close. There is an example of an expense of it. I've already told you about an example of asset, uh, asset and expense items. This is an example for the asset and expense sub -inventory. So now sub are created. Now all the accounts are done. Now we will now set up these six accounts on this one. Fine. We're going to set up these six accounts, six accounts on this one. We're going to go and then set up these six accounts. I don't know why. We'll now go to the main one. So I am in the one. Fine. Let's move it. Everywhere we'll now start with that. Fine. Go to the setup and maintenance. And then next also I'll now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> I'm now coming to the fun functional setup manager area. And go that you want it. We'll now go to the functional setup manager area. <clears throat> Now come to the first one now. And then here I will now go to the what? Manufacturing. Manufacturing and supply chain management. And then I will now go to the manage mapping set. Manage percentage. Map percentage. Set percentage is 19. So here also what happens? I will now go there. And then choose the cost according. Cost according. Go there. And then the one, I will now sell the scope to cost management. Choose the scope to cost management. Okay, now fine. Click on sell and add. And then click on apply and go to ask. Choose the scope to cost management. Go there. Go down. Go down. And then I am going to choose the scope to cost management. Selected and click on save and close by which the cost management scope is now selected. You're going to go there and then we'll now query on the charge account, material charge account of the one thing. So, here, what are you going to do? Material account on the sub level, we are going to set up. 
அந்த சப் இன்மெண்ட் லெவல் கொண்டு செட் அப் மெட்டீரியல் சார்ஜ் அக்கவுண்ட் அந்த சப் இன்மெண்ட் லெவல் கொண்டு செட் அப் அப்படிங்க அது நோ குயரி ஃபார் தி மெட்டீரியல் அந்த மெட்டீரியல் ஹஸ் காட் டூ திங்ஸ் நவ ஒன் இஸ் தி ஆன் லெவல் அண்ட் தென் ஒன் இஸ் தி சப் இன்மெண்ட் லெவல் மெட்டீரியல் அக்கவுண்ட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் மெட்டல் அக்கவுண்ட் சப் இன்மெண்ட்ரி சோ we are going to choose this now fine sub unit level we are going to choose so click on the metal account sub inventory and then we will now add our chart of accounts over here so sub unit level i am going to cost it now i will now click on plus and then i will now add it go like to drop it down and then here now check t03 t t t t t t t t come on where is it t03 is not there t t t3 mandichi we got it so that select it and then see that the same t03 is coming here in the bottom So we'll now go there and add the account. One plus, I'm going to go there. What is the account I'm going to do? 1009, I'm going to put it now. <coughs> the company segment, which is the balancing segment, we already seen. <coughs> Fine. Uh, it is a sub- secondary separate inventory, and then what happens? They're going to be the account. So it is a, is a zero, uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Fine. That is the balancing segment. This is a department, it's a cost center. And then here, I'm going to put those 1009 now. Right? 1009, and then give a tab. i'm not going to set as a default it will be a default account for all sub inventories and all inventory arms it's going to be a default one but here what i'm going to do it is not so i am not going to specify sub inventory wise now fine i will not take a sub inventory as a final so for the our squad the t03 sub one is what asset sub inventory you know take a copy of it and then put on the place fine. so you know then go that i will not put secondary sub inventory is what you know so whenever you are transacting on it and then the organization code is what t031 fine you have to write it exactly and if you make a mistake then it will be really very very difficult so you have to write it exactly wrong but remember so the one so if you are going to transact on sub one which is an asset sub inventory on this or this will be your charge account fine this will be a charge account fine so the nine will be charge account clear on this so exactly put everything fine you are simulating it actually the sandwich is simulated we will not give a save and close and then come back and then make a check up it because sometimes it doesn't get registered properly so it is preferable to what come back and then make a check also So you know, getting saved now. We now go to the next one, and then here also what happens? We now go to the place next one. So, we now go for the next one and the next one. No. So go to the place, and then I will say manage percentage, map the percentage, set percentage, and then now. Okay. So by this time we have got saved now. Okay. So we are still saving it. <coughs> go there. Go to the past account. Past account. So go to the past account, and then here I will now go to the manage mapping set of past management. Fine. Click on it, and then I will go inside. The second account I am going to set. There are six accounts here to set now. Okay. Go click on it. I will again say material. M E T R I E L material and enter now. So we'll now go to the previous one and then see. Fine, it's still saving. So what I'm going to do is what? We'll now go there and say. So the second entry I'm going to make it now. Fine, material account sub inventory. This is expense sub inventory for which I'm going to do it now. Fine. So I will not do it because this is already working on the first screen and so I don't want to touch the same thing on the second screen now. Fine, go there. So what I will do is I'll now go to the org level. I'll now go to the org level. Material account organization I will now go there and say because this is already working on. So it's already working on it. So I don't want it at the same one. I don't go to the middle. I don't organization find that one. So we might have already given it. Fine. We don't go then make a go to the could be example and then test of a T zero three at the org level. We might have given it. Find that one. T zero three. Then go the entry now. So we have no account at all. Fine. We're not at set. So we'll now go and then add it. We click on plus now. Fine. We'll add it. So for the T zero three. Find that one. I will now put T <coughs> T T T T T T. Press on. Keep on pressing T till your number comes. Find that one. So it's the one. Find that one. So org level, it is not set at all. Fine, go on, go down, and then go there, and then click on plus. Now. At the org level, I am going to set up. So at the org level, the third one is what one one zero one zero is the one. So go there. It's a zero one. I find zero 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 fine. Zero 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 I find fine. One zero one zero is the one, and then I will now set as a default now. Fine. This is for the, all the inventory orgs. I am setting it up. At the org level, what happens? I am setting it for all the inventory org. So now go to the previous screen. Fine, go there. Oh God, I don't know why it's taking so much of my time here. Oh God, the account is wrong. 1009 was there, not there as an asset sub unit. Now 1009 is what? 1009 is an asset account. That point. Why the account is not complete? An asset account is wrong. I think 1009 is there. Come on. So click on okay. Oh God, is there any mistake on this? No, fine. Click on okay. No, fine. Some mistake was there. I think probably. Go down and then see. Fine. Is okay. Fine. The secondary sub inventory will again take a copy and then paste. No, fine. No, fine. It is an asset sub inventory. Fine. Go there. Is an asset sub inventory. I will not take a copy of it and then put on the space now. Paste it over here. Okay, fine. Give it a tap. And then the organization what T zero three one is the one. So everything is okay now. Fine. So if there is a mistake also, then also it will not take a longer time actually. So it's okay. And give us save and close now. This time I don't think there is a mistake now. Fine. Let's see this. So it is a it is a middle account uh, at the sub inventory level. Fine. Correct. 
oh god i have put in the this one i was having a problem or what so click on the middle account sub inventory you will not see whether we have done it the asset or not so i will not go to the t03 thank you for it to the sub inventory level so sub inventory level asset is now completed sub inventory level the first one is now completed so we are now completed the first one now right? first one and then second one we are not taken up and then the third one also we had done it up right? 1010 is the third one what you want it you gone there now right? the third one is also 1010 is not done fine let me submit it save and close and then come back now right? first and third are now getting completed so at the org level we are doing in a fact connect now how will get again go there so t03 fine 1010 for all right? now the second one has to be done now right? cancel now now go back to this level now this place will not go there give a cancel now right? it's all okay now here at the sub one fine sub one is asset one fine go there can cancel now right? we check it and then we now go on and create again now so that so at the sub unit level again we will not do it that is for the second one second entry we are going to make it now fine right? that is for the expense and the 1004 is the one go so go there so click on the <coughs> manage sub unit account for the card i will not go to this place and then here we have sub unit here we will now add one more line to this one the one we are going to add one more line fine click on plus now fine we will now add one more line to this one go there so here we will now come back and then take a copy of the expense sub unit name we will now take a copy and go there we will now paste the expense over here now hang it up and then again the organization what t031 capital t remember so this account is what 1004 so it is a 01 hyphen 000 hyphen 1004 is the one right what happened so it's correct on you know see now you go down so it's all okay fine exactly you paste it now otherwise it will not work we do not have any list of values there is a mis biggest mistake they have made now if a list of values is available we can very well choose it otherwise you have to exactly copy and then paste fine click on save and close then they'll come back and then see now you know that now again go to the map, map, middle map, management of sub inventory you know see it's all right so the one so we have Uh, we will now choose ours now right click on the choose ours <coughs> fine expense sub inventory and asset sub inventory expense sub inventory is 1004 1009 is very correct now so the first three entries are now done we will now go on and do the th third fourth fifth and sixth now the fourth one so expense item into asset sub inventory is right? an expense expense sub inventory fine go there i will now see the middle and now go there click on it we will now query on this now fine expense sub inventory to query middle we will now query so we will now see that uh, what's called uh uh I think, I think we have to query on expense I mean. expense account organization yes the expense account supplementary we will know the, the remaining three are on the expense now fine so there are expense basically they are all for the asset it is a uh, now we'll now check up the so is the expense account supplementary fine what else i go there i will now go to the expense account supplementary thank you for the expense account supplementary there is a material charge account for the supplementary now the expense account fine so that's what i will now give a plus on them add it now drop it down And then press T T T T T. Press it and until it comes. Right, now cross it. Go up. Cross. No, I don't cross now. T zero three. I take it now. Where is my T zero three? R. This is here. T zero three is here. Select it. And then here I am going to add it. Now. So click on plus now. It is a basically T zero three expense account. So I will not put the account over here. Yes. So the fourth one is what? It is a sub one now. Fine. That one is an asset sub inventory. Fine. Take a copy of the asset sub inventory and then put on this one. Fine. Secondary sub inventory is nothing. Secondary inventory is nothing but asset sub inventory. There is a sub inventory. So T zero three zero three one now. And then what I am going to do in the fourth one? One one thousand four again. Fine. Or this one one thousand four. So zero one zero zero zero. Fine. One thousand four is the one. And then click on plus. I will have one more thing actually, for the expense. Go there. I will not take a copy of it now. Go there. Now go there. Take a copy of it. And put on the space exactly. Even if one space extra is there, it will not work at all. T zero three one. Go there. So for this, what happens? The fifth entry is what one thousand five. One zero zero five. Go there. See. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's what? And uh, go there. It is zero one. Iphone zero 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 iphone one thousand five the one go there go to place and then we will now save and close and then come back again and then make a check whether it is all okay or not and go there so expense account so inventory we will now go there and so two entries are there in this one uh, open up yours now and check it up and then go down and then make a check so we have this now and the the two entries are there one thousand four one thousand five and then two hundred so it's all there fine you can cancel and then come out of it we will now go and then go to the final one now that is the sixth one we are going to have what expense account organization go there. So expense account organization that fine to go on it. No, go on it. There is only one entry. So click on plus now. Fine. Going to make it up. Drop it down and then put T zero. <clears throat> so.
So in the T03, he was not in the point, no selected, no other one. And then here, there's only one entry fine, not plus no fine. You know, one and see what the entry I had to make. 1006, I had to make it now, fine. The hog level. So it's a 01000, sorry, 000, iPhone 1006, isn't it? 1006. That will now make it as a set as a report. It is common for all the hogs, actually. You can set up as a report. Oh, God, it has vanished. Okay, not plus no fine. It's not working at all. You know, you know put the organization, sir, T031, and then. 01000 find 1006 is the one. Ah, sorry. I made a mistake. Yeah. 1006 is what happened. When I make a mistake, it will not take a long time. <clears throat> it will not make a check of it. I should have done it very properly. So when I give us, let us hit as a default, it is not working properly at all. Oh, God. It will not wait for the check and then finally it will say that the 10065 is no more there. <laughs> okay. So by which we are now simulating the first six one now. Right? We are going to check on the purchase requisition, but how these accounts are getting defaulted on the as a as your charge account and charge account is the one. So you know put one thousand. Uh, what is the name? One thousand six. One thousand six. One thousand six is the one. Go there. Choose it. I mean, get one. Okay. Now. This dominant is invalid. So one thousand six is there now. Okay. That's it. So T, uh, when I send as a default, it is not working. We will not see whether it works or not. You click on save and close now. If it works, it's okay. Otherwise, it's not working, I don't know. So expense account organization, fine. Click on it now, fine. It has to work as a default also, but I don't know, we will not uh, do the R&D now, no. Right. Now go down and then choose mine, okay. That is mine yet. I'll now go to the query example, T03, and then entering now. Query example, and then it is not showing the fine. Click on it. 1006 is there now. So this is done, done. Right? Give a cancel. So we are now simulate everything and then we are going to test it on a requisition. What is the requisition? So click on this one. Your charge. Ah, what is this? The changes are not saved now. Middle account organization. No, no. Ah, it is already there now. And then give us save and close now. Is that now let us go there and then create a requisition and test it whether all the six combinations are working or not. And go to the procurement now. And then go to the purchase requisition. I don't know how much of setups I have completed on this now. I'm not sure about it. If any setup is missing, you will not do dynamic link. And then go to the place. And then go to the update requisition preferences now. I will not update the requisition preferences. And then I will not say is the look law point fine. The supplementary is also coming from. It's all done now. Okay, inventory is there. <clears throat> Let us now put my first account. The first one we are going to check. So the first one is what? Is the supplementary level testing? I'm going to make it. 1009 has to come. Okay. I will now go to the more task and then enter requisition lines. Let me put my other item over here. So I have already given what in this place in the update requisition preferences, I will be given the asset supplementary. In this place, we already given the asset supplementary. And so naturally, the first combination will be the firing. And so what happens? It will be giving you 1009 as that combination. I did too many now. <laughs> when I was doing something also, I made another thing also. So let us now wait for it to complete. Now come on. So go there. Now you can see by default nothing is coming. Let me put my asset item over here. And then the sub inventory is an asset sub inventory. Right? The sub inventory, what is that? Okay, we have given the sub inventory. Uh, give it done now. The sub inventory must be an asset sub inventory. Somewhere it must be there. Uh, you go there, go to the place and go to the update requisition preferences. We will now see the sub inventory is an asset sub inventory. Okay, fine. There. So that will be there. So click on more task and then go to the enter requisition lines and then this time what happens, I will be asking for an asset. Asset into asset means what? 1009 has to come. So go there. It's what? It's a T03 underscore asset item. It's not coming. Item 1 is only coming. Asset item is not coming. Have I assigned that item to child or? Oh God, I might have forgotten that. I have forgotten that. I go there and now go to the what's called assigning to the fine. Go to the product management and then go to the product information management. You can go to my asset item and then expense item. Because none of the items are coming other than item one actually. I might have forgotten to assign it actually. T031 has to be assigned. Right? Well, discussing so many on the what's called a thing, I might have forgotten. Click on the browse items and then query for it. 
So go to the browse items, click on the browse items, and then I'm going to query for it. Browse items, query now. So let me query my T03 asset item. I'm going to query it. Let me see whether I have assigned it or not. T03 underscore asset. And if you make a mistake, please, then and there you point out to me. So that what happens? There won't be, oh God, it is not there at all. What happened? I'm an ETO only. Have I not created the items at all? Might have been. Fine. I may not have created the item at all. When I was talking it, I might. Donna, uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, uh, I think you created those items in the other en environment and where it was slow and then after that you did not create it here actually. I have not created the item at all. Yes, very correct. I have not created the item at all. In this one, I have not created the item at all. Yes, sir. Go there. Is that T03? In this instance, I have not even created the item actually. Go there. Click on OK. Now, fine. Okay. We'll now go on and <coughs> create the item actually. So the item was not visible there. <laughs> I couldn't understand what is this. So we'll now apply the template and then we'll now create the item actually. Go there. Click on it. Is that T03 underscore asset underscore item? Asset item. Take a copy it. We'll now take a copy it. And then put it in the description. I will now straight away associate and go to the specifications. And then we'll now give a list price, and that will be the market price of it. I might have given a list price. I'll now just make a check whether I give it or not. Normally, in the template, I used to give it the 10 is there. I go to the associations and then let me associate with the child dog. Go to actions and then go to select mat. So I'm going to associate with the child dog. So it's a T03 and then enter now. And we're associating with the child dog. So it's a child dog. Click on apply and then click on them. That's it. You know, now uh, and save it now. So the asset item is now getting created, and then you now go there and then give a save and close now. Click on save and close now. So instead of dropping down, what happens? I'm going to save now. I'm not going to save also. Save and close also. <clears throat> it's now save and drop it down and then save and close. Now create the expense item for this. Now get the expense item. So click on create now. I will be getting an expense item for this. Is the T030 in the mass shot? And then click on OK now, fine. Okay, and then we'll now go there. Create the item, right? T03 underscore the expense item. Go there. So take a copy of it and then put in the description. Put in the description. And then go down. And then the specifications, I will now go there. I will now change it to expense. Right? So once when the inventory asset value is removed as no, then it becomes an expense. An expense. I don't think outside. Then go to the associations and let me associate it with the child. Go to the actions and then go to the select match. So let me associate it with the child. Is that T03? Entry now, man. And now associate it with one. Select it and then click on apply and then click on the one. So the item is assigned to the child. Now we'll now go on and create our first exercise. On the now. There are three, six, six such things we have to test now. Find the record. We're not getting there. We go to the shop. Now I go there. T03. <coughs> to put it. I will not choose the asset item. So let me put the asset item. So asset item into an asset sub inventory. That is what you are going to test now. Asset into an asset item is what? Asset into asset 1009 has to come as a charge account. You know, putting the asset in the location. And then we know see it. It is an asset item. And then the sub inventory also has to come up. Once when it gets populated over here, it will be populated in the sub inventory also. So it is an asset sub inventory, and then you can see 1009 has come over here. Now let us change the expense now. So the second test is what? Asset into an expense now. Fine. The second one is the asset in the expense of inventory. You like what? You will not change it to expense now. So go on and make a change to expense. Drop it down and then change the expense. So 1009 is tested. You will not choose the expense of inventory again. So it has to become 1000. What is that? The value is 1004. But upon changing, it is not coming. Let us now add to the cart and then see. Fine. So click on add to cart. So there you can see it actually. Sometimes what happens is if you make a change here in the main requisitioning area, it will not change. But when you add to cart, there you can see when you review it. When you make a review, you can see. Inside, you can see both. There itself, you can check the third also. So when you add to the cart, you can check the third one. Third one is at the hog level. Third one is the hog level. So once when your requisition do not have the asset sub inventory as well as expense sub inventory, it will not pick up the hog level account. If the requisition is not having any one of them, then it will not pick up the hog level as 1000. 
So go there. I will not click on what. I will not review it. But, so go there. So click on the cart and then click on review. Now. Okay, I'm going to review. So here you can see 1004 coming up. <coughs> click on review. 1004 will be coming. <coughs> Because this account becomes a very important one for the many, many <coughs> procurement managers. They are known as a category managers. Go down and see, it is 1004. And then here itself, you can see now, right? If you go on here, it will now appear immediately. If you go there and then change it and then save, now you can see the account coming as 1009. So you go to the asset sub inventory and then give a save. Then when you save it, it will be what? 1009. Give a save now. Thank you. You save, it will be 1009. Upon saving, it will now become 1009. So, is that. so, if the sub inventory itself is absent on the requisition, then R will fire actually. The R will fire, and then 1010 is going to come. At the R will fire. So, let me remove it, remove the sub inventory at the requisition level, and then I will not go and say, it can't say. Now, 1010 will be coming at the R level. You can see 1010 is coming, the charge level. Right. So, asset expense and then R level, we are not testing. We will not check the expense item. Right. These four things, these three things we are going to check. I will not go there. So click on what happens, uh, you shop, come back to the shopping area. Right. only testing it. Go back to my right. go to the place and then go to the enter requisition lines. This time I'm not going to populate an expense item over here now. So it's a T03 underscore expense. Expense item I'm going to it. I will not expense it to asset sub inventory. Yeah, already asset sub inventory is there now. So if you put the expense item is into an ex asset sub inventory, it is 1004 is correct. Let us now add to cart. Expense item and answer the plate and add to cart number. Let us know already something is there in the cart. Let us know delete it and distribute it out. It goes away and then let us know add this new item over there. <clears throat> you can even have those lines also, right? multiple lines. One, one line will be an asset, one line will be expense. Item. That also you can check it up also. Basically. Everything will be shown over there actually. I should have kept it so that you can see both the things also there. Okay, now you go there. Go now add to cart an expense item into an asset sub inventory. Then go on this. Go to this placement economy. So now go to the review and then have a look at it. So it is an expense expense item in the sub inventory is 1004. Now we will not change it to an expense sub inventory. So drop it down and then change it to an expense sub inventory. So go to the expense sub inventory and then save it. Now. Then only it will become 1005. So give us save now. Once you save it. It now should become 1000. And then if you remove the sub inventories, it has to show me as what 1006. So these accounts will be given by what uh, the financial team. What you have to pop it bad. And then click on save now, it will now become 1006. Good and fine. You have not tested all the six now, fine. So if you have understood all the six ways of charging, can you put a green tick on your name now, fine? I will not stop the recording. I will not see how much of you I understood it now. I will not clear all the feedbacks. So if you have understood all the six methods, can you put a green tick against your name? Samba Sivala has understood it. The six ways of charging. Asset into asset sub inventory, asset into asset expense sub inventory, and then no sub inventory. Likewise for the expense also. Good, 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 good. Rahul and Supri, uh, you are finding it difficult or what exactly is your feedback? Or you have to learn, you have to watch the video means you can even put a slow down, slow down icon now. That means what you have to watch the watch the video now. Niranjan, Sambasivara, and then Satvik has understood it. Supreme and then Rahul, are you there? I think uh, they are not there. I think they are not giving they are unable to give a comment actually. Okay, that's good. Fine, you understood it. Now the next activity on this number. I'm not share the screen. Share the screen. <clears throat> the next activity. So the seventh step. Now I'm not going to what. Order, uh, he is not going to request for what a cable laying. So, cable laying is not an item at all. It is not an item at all. It is basically an expense activity. So, I am not going to have what cable laying or AMC now. Fine, AMC I am going to do. So, the, in which case, the employee will be given an expense account and that will be getting populated on the requisition. Employee's expense account because that employee is now requesting for a cable laying and so his account will be populated and then he will be responsible to the management for all the expenses he has made. Fine. That is for the ex employee's expense. So we will now populate an employee's expense and then at the month end and then the quarter end, they will now see about how much of money he has spent against him now. And then he has to justify also. And then there will be a, what happens, uh, the management level uh, uh, inquiry or other uh, auditing will be happening. At the end, what happens, they will now see which, which employees have spent how many money. Fine. So that may be a company's one only, but there must be a reasoning for this. So we will now set up the employee's expense account. 
the company employees etc now go to this place and go there you will now go to home icon and then i will now go to the what your uh, uh, this thing upon my client groups and then i go to the person management so person management is not coming here at all oh lord again the same problem so we had to add this upon the part so we had to add this now <coughs> not coming uh and the my client groups is not coming so sometimes what happens if you run the ldap it will be coming so let us now run the ldap also and we have so many things i will not run the ldap also i will now go to the what scheduled process that is also not coming now scheduled process is not coming oh god so many things are not coming so we will now add the first of all the scheduled process over here now we'll now go to the scheduled process scheduled process can anybody tell me in the morning i created one custom role for human capital management can i use it here or not there is a question now can i use it or not anybody can tell me can i use it or not so go to the tools and then go to the schedule process let now let me run the what's called uh, ldap ldap will be basically syncing all your setups into the transaction system basically and then there i will not so click on schedule new process let me run the ldap ldap is an excellent gun correct what oracle says that it is now inbuilt and then programmed basically ldap and then you have to retrieve ldap as a concurrent which i am going to run retrieve ldap as a concurrent so we have to provide the expense account for the employee actually and that will be defaulting on the requisition actually whenever he makes an expense purchase actually go to this place and the rest one the uh which one will have it we will now go to the what's called security console also you know we will now go to the security console and see whether human resource specialist is added or not so you need that one point to connect oh god this is again edu was also become slow <laughs> okay tools and then go to the security console now now go to this place and then the monitoring process what happens ldap is retrieve ldap and go to run let us now run the retrieve ldap retrieve ldap is an excellent and correct so any setups which are made will be getting synced to the what's called this go to the monitor you will now query your user and then see whether i have added the human resource specialist now t03 is the one emp1 is the one on which we are not discussing upon now right emp1 click on it go to the active one human resource specialist is missing actually i think yeah it's missing when let me add no, i need to add a forgotten add it click on add role human resource specialist is the one is p specialist human resource specialist so i know you the one of the i mean this is required for person management through which we can very well populate your expense account of the employee actually thank you for second close one we now go straight away and see if it is coming or not will be will be lucky actually thank you for go to the home page and then we go to the my client groups and then see whether the person management is coming up or not we we'll go to the my client groups now see whether the person management is coming or not is not coming so we now log out and log in and sometimes what happens that we have to log out So upon log out and log in, you will be able to see it. Let me confirm. Go there and do it. So we are logging in now. Go to this place and go to the my client groups. Remember that one day cheap we got it. My client groups. So remember that human resource process has to be added for person management. I will now query my first employee. You know, it is EMP one comma space P zero three underscore remember. Last name, comma space, first name is the way in which you have to query the employee. Now, thank you for not querying it. And then I will now click on the underline of it. Now, thank you. We will now change the assignment actually. We are going to assignment change. We are going to wait now. And then we will now add the employee expense account as plan now. One thousand seven. I am going to put it. And that will be coming for expense purchases basically. Go there. So we are now uh, we are now clicked on it now. Go there. Click on the underline and then it will work. Because no other the thing is coming and then no, oh, it's coming. Okay. Going there, so click on update now. I need to update, and then I will now make it as what assignment change actually. I will not. I will not go there. Do not do add assignment. It will not work at all. It is an assignment change. Remember, it is an assignment change. And then click on OK, and then we will now populate the expense account of the employee on the employee. So every employee, whenever they are creating any expense purchases, they are accountable to the management basically. They normally monitor on a monthly basis or a weekly basis or a month, quarterly basis. and then uh, they may even inquire them about why they have made but normally uh, requesters will always be having a justification of whatever they have made actually. whatever requests they are getting as expense i will not go to the place go down go down go down 
and then I'll be having an account now. Expense information. So it's what? 01 iPhone, 000 iPhone, 1007 is the one. Expense account, I think, default expense account. So go there. So expense account of every employee who is going to create a requisition for expenses now. So that will all be done. So go there and then click on the top and then give a save, review, and then submit. That is the way we had to work upon this place. You should not go, then save and then come out, don't, it will not work at all. Save first and then review for next and then submit final. The three activities are done on any employment assignments. Actually. Anything, any change, you have to do. We are not set up the positions and all fine. That is not, uh, you can even set up your positions on the ETO if you have already created. Fine, our instances are working actually fine. It's working fully. So keep a save and then afterwards the review and then submit. Now, when I make a requisition, now automatically what happens is this employee's expense account will be getting charged. Now, I'm going to set up and then go there. Now, go there, home account. So click on the home account. Now, remove up to comp, it will now start to work. Entering in this place, it's now still saving. Go there. I will now go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase requisition. So he is going to make an expense purchase, you know, go there. We will now update the requisition preferences to expense actually. So here the destination date is what expense. So submit will not come to the chapter. So it is an expense purchase which he is making now. Click on seven close. So he is now making he is going to make an expense purchase now. Find the part. And then let us wait for this to complete now. So afterwards, review and then submit, then only can go on and go hard and then do it. This activity is still pending. It's a bottleneck activity, so we are now pending on this. In this place, in some companies, what happens is that they may not like to have the employee's account to come into the purchase requisition at all because these employees will be at the manager level and the higher levels. So we cannot query it. So what they will do is they will now put a, what's called a common charge account for all the expense purchases. Basically. And that will now supersede the employee's charge account. That is the next exercise actually. So once when this company is all done, I'm going to do that. so it's still doing it. Remember. With the save is now completed. I think you know, click on the review and then submit it. Review and then submit it. Review and then see whether the change of the account is now there or not. Click on the review. You know, have a look at the change of the account. You know, click on OK now. You know, coming to the roles and current. So the bottom will now have a look at it on the review. Whatever is a change, it will not show you on the review as such. So go down. Go down. And then have a look at it. Expense account is there or not. It's a change now. It's a change in restriction. Yes, there's no thing. Default expense account, there is a change actually. 10011. So it's okay. My own is there. I go there and then click on submit, by which it is now getting submitted. Now, this employee is now changed to expense account. This preference will be set by him only. He only will be setting up the reference before he, he goes or heard on that. Click on it. So click on again, okay, I'll find the I'll go there, click on it. And then go to the shop area. So he is now expense, now find, he will now set up expense and then he will now create a requisition. Thank you. So click on it, you're now going to create a requisition. So he has now changed to expense and then he is now creating it. So he will now change it to what? Fixed prices and services. The line type will be fixed prices and services. That is mainly for expense. You will now put the fixed prices. You will now put what happens, the description based purchases. You know, say AMC. For computers, for, for 10 computers. You're not putting it. AMC for 10 computers. You would and then go and then give it app. You will now say 1007 is now getting defaulted. So he, this guy, the or T01 EMP1 is responsible for the expenses, whatever is now made against this particular requisition. You will now put the amount and all, you now come over here. You now fill it up and then do everything in the normal way only. Fine, that's all. Now, uh, we have one more thing. If the company feels that the employees should not be account should not be charged, so what they will do is in this case they will now override the expense account with a manual charge account. So click on it. You know, put a plus. 
you know say it is a tata company my tata's my expense account expense charge account. likewise they will not write and then they will not put some other account 01 000.1004 i will not write so the concept is now 1007 will not come for all the employees 1004 only will default you know what the enter position is and then you know go again for fixed prices not actually fixed prices and services included and the description is what there is a which and the document on description is you know what now 1004 will now come the tata expense account is now coming along with the nickname actually so charge account becomes a very important account for category managers or procurement managers when they are also known as a category managers so they will be monitoring the expense on specific account how much they are spending and so that will now help them to what reduce or optimize the spend actually so this is a very important one also so we are now completed seven eight now and this completes the charge accounting right how many of you understood this fully once again i will now remove the tick mark now right? clear all the and have you understood all the eight now fine sambhasi varav has understood all the eight and seven only three are there here satvik rahul fine the supreme kumar says that he has to go through the uh, record and then see now fine excellent now okay fine so let me uh, what happens is save the record and then come back again now fine i don't go on that i will now go on that clip on it leave meeting and then come back <clears throat>